So you've updated to iOS 7, and you may be asking yourself, is that it? Apart from the aesthetic changes, Apple has changed quite a bit on the internal side of iOS 7, and in this video, I'm going to bring to light 20 lesser known features of iOS 7. Close up to three apps at once using a three finger swipe up. Don't like the parallax feature of iOS 7 making you dizzy, nauseous? Go into settings, general, accessibility, in here, reduce motion, and turn that off. If you're on a limited data network, you can easily go into settings, cellular, scroll down, and in here you'll find all the applications that are using your data and how much and easily disable LTE or 3G use. By going into general, accessibility, and scrolling all the way down and enabling switch control to on, you can actually control your iPhone and I actually set mine to a head turn left will take me to the home screen. And there you go. It works without even touching the home button. Also in accessibility, you can enable bold text, which requires a restart of your iPhone, but makes all the text much bolder and easier to read in iOS 7. As can be seen here, you can notice that the text is a lot bolder on the one where I enable it. Easily change your text size on iOS by going into general, text size, and sliding this slider right here. Now take note, it won't work in all applications, only the ones on the Apple device and the applications that actually support this. Now this one is controversial. However, if you go into privacy, go into location services, system services, frequent locations, your iPhone actually tracks the locations you frequent and you can easily remove it or enable it using this feature. In settings messages, you can now actually block calls using the blocked, and this works for both for text messages and calls. In messages, you're now able to see timestamps. So if you slide to the left from the right, you'll get the little time right there, which is a very useful little addition. Siri can now be used to toggle system settings. Siri, enable Bluetooth. Okay. I turned on Bluetooth. The edge of the screen can now be used as a back button. So if you swipe from the edge of the screen, you can actually go back. Now this is supported in all system-wide applications and some third-party applications as well. Swipe over in the new Compass application and you'll be greeted with a level which is amazingly accurate, works very well, and can be used two ways. So you can use it as a surface level this way. If you tap the screen, it sets as a new constant and same applies this one. In the camera application, there's now a shutter mode button, which is the volume button, and if you hold it, you can take up to three photos per second on any iPhone, and the 5S is 10 photos per second. So let me just demo that. While recording video, you can now zoom in and out. Great, however, Apple should have added this a while ago. If you've got a cluttered mailbox, you can actually edit and mark all to be read in your mailbox. Although very small, you can actually put newsstand into a folder whereas before you couldn't do it in iOS 6. You can actually make changes to pronunciations in Siri. Siri, call Daniel. Which Daniel? That's not how you pronounce that. Which one? Daniel C. Okay, how do you pronounce the name? Daniel. Okay, thank you. Which pronunciation should I use? Daniel, Daniel, Daniel. Using FaceTime, you can actually make audio calls now. And I've heard the quality is much better without actually using your minutes. In the passcode lock settings, you're actually given an option to delete all the data on the iPhone after 10 failed passcode attempts. And lastly, my favorite in sounds, if you go into ringtone vibration, you can make a custom vibration. So just holding, hold, hold, holding, hold, hold and you can actually replay it. So depending on which contact you want, you can actually get them to get a custom vibration ringtone so you'll automatically know without hearing a sound how it feels in your pocket when someone is calling. And that's 20 hidden features at iOS 7. I do hope some of these that I brought to light you do use in your day-to-day -day use. I do appreciate you watching this video. Have a great day. Peace.